One more shot of coffee. Officially starting in the Pacific. Okay guys, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm uh, on my way to Baker and I've just got to get the uh, the vest out okay it's over a hundred probably 103 104 maybe what is important is that this air conditioner is blasting cold air right now and it could not feel better. It's so hot. Oh, L U. And we will hit it again tomorrow where I will be on my way to Utah and hopefully some cooler temperatures. <laughs> So the thing I've noticed right away is I slept for like nine and a half hours. I never sleep for nine and a half hours. So, you know, is this going to be typical after, you know, long days in the saddle? Um, it was really hot yesterday and obviously, you know, it stressed my body some. Um, but nine and a half hours of sleep is a good night's sleep. I'm just, I'm really thankful I did the hotel last night with this heat instead of sticking to my original camping plan. Uh, but I am camping tonight and headed to Bryce Canyon, Utah, which uh, is at a higher elevation. So I got to deal with this heat this morning and get out of the desert, um, but I should hit cooler air at the end. Hey, look at that. This place comes with in-room coffee. And some of you may be thinking, well, Urban, what if you set off the smoke detector or the fire alarm in the hotel with that thing? Uh, two things. One, this isn't really giving off any particulate smoke that would set something like that off. And two, the smoke or fire alarm is interestingly missing from this room. So I'm glad there wasn't a fire last night while I was sleeping. Interesting. It should get me going. Cool, room service. So I'm having oatmeal and raisins, a cup of coffee, um, got my frozen, no longer frozen, but still refrigerated um, blueberries. So there's my breakfast plus some multivitamins, which I know those of you from other parts of the world are probably saying, silly American, you know, thinking you can take care of your health with a single pill. 
I know we've got a whole industry around this stuff and it's it's kind of nuts but you know it's something um, I kind of draw the line at multivitamins these frozen blueberries are still partially frozen I had them in that little insulated bag and put them in the refrigerator in the room here last night and clearly that refrigerator is plenty cold so I would think these are probably going to last till lunch today and they'll keep my water cold next to it except I'm going to eat half of them I'll probably get more nutrition out of these than I will out of those multivitamins I took. I took another quick shower because it's here and I was sweating a lot yesterday again. And I'm walking around the hotel room with the air conditioning on naked. Uh, sorry, ladies, you're not going to see that. And I'm freezing, but I'm thinking, God, what would be the harm if I lowered my body temperature a half a degree or so before I go out in that heat? So I'm putting up with the freezing. Okay, I was going to call a bellman to come get my bags. Nobody's answering, so I'm just going to go carry them down in multiple trips. And you may say, well, you're crazy for making coffee in your room. Well, yeah, maybe. Okay, so I'm loaded, I don't need this anymore. I'm loaded up uh, three trips. Here's some thoughts about getting on the bike in the morning. So as I approach the bike, the first thing I'm looking for are tires inflated still. You know, I'm not getting my pressure gauge out right now, but uh, I give them a kick and, you know, they're hard as a rock. The other thing I do is reach under with my toe and just look at my chain slack. I can feel it. Um, it's still tight, you know, it's still within spec. I've gotten pretty good at that with my toe. Uh, you know, and then just look for things. Like, I walked out to my bike one time and the chain guard, the rear bolt had come out of it and it was resting down on the chain. Just happened to notice as I walked up to the thing. Um, what else am I looking for? I will check the oil, but I gotta level it off to see that, which I need to put the phone down to do that. And, uh, you know, fire it up, brake lights working, headlights working, uh, turn signals working, and away I go. The other thing I did between my uh, trips down here was I got out my liquid wrench um, chain and cable loop and sprayed it on my chain and rolled the bike back and forth to make sure I get all of it. Uh, so I've got a lubricated chain and it had time to dry while I did that second trip. I am already sweating big time. I checked the oil, it's good. Alright, looks like we will have another day here. So there's the Paris Hotel and Resort I mentioned in the first video. Bally's next to it. 
going down Las Vegas Strip in the early morning isn't exactly the kind of nightlife we think about Vegas, but it gives a good look. The Flamingo on the right, and toward the left is Caesar's Palace with its genuine Naga Coliseum. Off on the left, behind more of Caesar's Palace there, is the Mirage. And on the right is Hera's Casino. Lots of good shows in all of these resorts, though. To be honest, the entertainment is quite good in Las Vegas. And uh, some of the smaller casinos on the right here. But coming up is the Venetian which is another genuine faux Venice with gondola rides inside. And then Treasure Island coming up on the left-hand side. And off to the right, you see the two big copper towers of the Wynn Resort and Casino. There's Treasure Island's uh, big show, which isn't going on during the pandemic times. Just realized I forgot my earplugs before I head out on the road. Two groups of people who suffer the most from hearing loss, drummers and motorcyclists. I am both. But my hearing's pretty good. Anybody know who wrote a Christmas song made famous by Nat King Cole? I'll give you a hint. The answer is in front of you right now.
course on interstates they never do this it's hot out here there's no shade I've been here for five minutes already it feels like a half hour I don't know when I'm going to be going again but it is a twisty road that'll help keep my tires round as opposed to what I've been doing so far I'm kind of struck by you know I'm walking out of this convenience store and the doors open and part for me kind of like saloon doors and I walk out into this scene there is my steed waiting for me you can almost get a sense for it being a cowboy out here of course, I stayed in an air-conditioned hotel last night, didn't I? I'll be camping tonight. They have a cute little quaint Old West town. This is called Hurricane Utah. I just stopped here on a whim. Uh, it's on my path. I am off of the interstate now and taking more of the you know, state roads. Um, but I found that building there. I found some public restrooms that were really clean. And I filled up my water bottle and uh, I found shade under this tree. And the temps are coming down a little bit. Um, what am I, you know, we're in the 90s for sure, but not in triple digits anymore. This thing really makes my Beastrom look comfortable and cushy. Uh, you know, driving around this terrain, you've seen some of the footage already. You can't imagine doing this in one of these with horses, wondering where's the next water, where's the next meal. Uh, it's, got, it's just insane. The heat the survivalist attitude. I mean, sure, they had some shade, but I can't imagine that it was exactly uh, air-conditioned comfort underneath a canvas cover over those, uh, you know, that hoops, those, that frame. It had to be just blistering hot during the day. And of course, you had on a dress or something resembling nearly a suit Anybody know what this thing is? I do. I've actually ridden on one as a kid as it functions. And uh, believe me, the idea is that all of the stuff is flying out the back, but it actually is flying up and up and forward and down on whoever's sitting in this thing. In part, the rest of it's flying all over the place back here. Okay, so I finally found some place to eat. The ma and pop places are not all open, unfortunately. I think it's uh, COVID. I think the pandemic has um, done its damage, and now it's hard to find employees. Uh, we're in a climate where it's, it's definitely an employee's market, and people can't find people to work so um, I did find a cafe that's open it's uh, you know, not a chain it's called Hatch Station spoke with a wonderful woman who uh, helped me with my order unfortunately she did not want to be on camera and I will respect that um, but I'm in the middle of Utah about to have some pork ribs and uh, I'm hungry and I'm happy to be here. The temperatures have dropped because I'm definitely up in altitude, so I'm a lot more comfortable. And that's it. Is the steak sandwich a good call? Yeah. Landscapes like this and roads like this just put like a soundtrack in my head. And when I get in a place like this, which is not often, 
What I hear in my head is boom, boom, boom. pretty low. Boom, boom, boom. She used to work in a diner. Never saw a woman look finer. I used to order just to watch her float across the floor. She grew up in a small town. Never put her roots down. Daddy always kept moving, so she did too. Somewhere on a desert highway, she rides a Harley nor Suzuki. Her long blonde hair flying in the wind. Nice. She's been running half her life The chrome and steel she rides Colliding with the very air she breathes The air she breathes bow, bow, bow. Hey, another motorcycle. Harley Davidson, is he gonna wave? Yeah, he did. That's cool. You know it ain't easy. You've got to hold on. She was an unknown legend in her time. Now she's dressing two kids, looking for a magic kiss. She gets the far away look in her eyes. Somewhere on a desert highway, she rides a Harley Davidson Suzuki Her long blonde hair flying in the wind She should wear a helmet She's been running half her life The chrome and steel she rides Colliding with the very air she breathes. The air she breathes. This is a different landscape. It's also getting slightly cooler. Definitely going up in altitude. Canyon National Park. I got here. It was first come first served at this particular campground. I am a National Park's annual pass holder. Uh, I get in, you know, the park without the fee um, for my vehicle. So that's nice. And uh, camping's not that bad. It was 20 bucks. Anyways, um, Bryce Canyon. It is overcast right now. We might even see a little rain, but it's so much cooler up here 
I'm up, I believe we're over a mile high. I saw a sign for a summit uh, where we were at 7,777 feet. I took that as a good omen. And uh, I've got my camp spot, though I have not set up my tent yet because I want to go see uh, the canyon. There's my camp spot down there. Whoa. Got to get set up. And for those of you wondering why I'm calling this trip Palms, Pines, and Fishing Lines, I think the palms part is probably obvious by now. And now the pines part should be obvious. All right, we're going to check out this path. Oh my gosh. I'm already starting to see something. Well, it's the kind of lighting that would make Ansel Adams pack up and head home, try a different day. But it's still pretty magnificent. Shutting up at an angle is called sinking ship for obvious reasons. And just real quickly, I want to mention how happy I am right now that I did not leave my keen hiking boots at home and take my adventure riding boots with. Um, the Keens are the ticket for the kind of trip I'm doing here. And I just, I couldn't be more sure-footed and more comfortable as I go down these trails. I would not be in those Forma adventure riding boots. Okay, I stopped underneath this amphitheater because it uh, started raining. And uh, I am glad that I set up my tent immediately when I got here. Um, there was this desire to go see Bryce Canyon first. Um, but I thought, no, you know, what do I know about the weather? Uh, didn't look like rain necessarily at the time I set it up anyways. And so now, you know, my sleeping bag and all that stuff should be dry. Well, it's raining out. 
I got back from my hike just in time, but I am starving. So, I'm going to start cooking dinner. Those of you that saw my video on packing remember that I packed a couple of dried meals. Looks like tonight I'm having one. Don't do this at home, kids. Gee, that actually smells really good. Oh, lovely. I got the bag with the crack in it. So this is remarkably tasty. Um, why I got the bag with the slit in it, I'm guessing it was toward the top of a case box and they ran a box cutter across to open that case and sliced whichever bags were on the top I'm just guessing but it's actually kind of spicy which is good for me but they asked for too much water it's like a soup not a stew tastes good though and so with that I'm gonna sign off for this day day two uh bryce canyon it was amazing i'm so glad i came here and saw this place um i don't know like what do i go see that's better than that now it's uh, tough to imagine uh, i got some ideas though so um tomorrow headed to mesa verde colorado hopefully and uh the rest of tonight is rain, so I'm stuck in the tent. But <laughs> amazingly, there's uh, mobile phone reception here, and I've got decent data. So probably watch a movie on Amazon Prime or something. I, I don't know. Netflix. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? I'll watch my old YouTube videos. How about that? <laughs>